today's UB Fit Short is write it down, take action, and move on. Look, that's the bottom line. You, gotta, you got some goals, you got to move on. Just take action and move on. And look, it is never too late to learn to change. There's too many people coming up with all these excuses for not reaching their goals. They don't live in the right place. They're too old. They're too young. And uh, there's a host of other excuses. And look, I'm not saying it's going to be easy because it's tough. Life's tough. But it can be re more rewarding. So it is true that you can't stop the calendar or turn back the clock. But you can still dream. And you know what? You can always have positive goals and you can always set positive goals. And they end up being, they got to be unique to you. That's the whole key. If they're not unique to you, you may not go ahead and achieve them. So I was thinking about this study, and it was a study by uh, UCLA, and they were covering a broad range of people, and actually it was a study where they were talking about people from different walks of life, and they concluded that people who set goals and developed a game plan of action, they reached them, and they were happier and healthier, and they earned a considerably a larger amount of, uh, of income than people that did not. So look, that's really a good start. If you, if you, at least if you start making your own goals that you can consider big things are going to happen for you. So you're going to get better people. You know, if you're at home, you the, what you really need to do is just to make sure that you identify some clearly defined objectives and then consider setting up some goals directly for yourself. So most people don't reach their goals. And if you think about it, because they're not committed. And they're not willing to follow what the plans that they set up for themselves. If you don't set up the plans or if you work it worrying about somebody else's goals, you're never going to achieve the ones that you set for yourself. So many of our goals don't require detailed plans. In fact, if you think about it, a lot of them, the simpler the plan, the easier it's going to be. Because you really have to have a plan that you're going to be able to do every day. It, has, it doesn't have to be this complex thing because you know what? You're not going to accomplish that. It's got to be something simple. Simple, but you could do it, and it's basic, and it can be done every day. So here's something I was considering. And you know what? Do it immediately. These are some tips that I came up with. One of them could be that there's basically a few things that you can come to, that come to my mind, but I would say get started today because there is no better time than the present. The first thing I usually tell people is you need to find a quiet place where you can sit down and relax where there's peace and quiet for at least about two hours. You take that two hours and you're going to write down several things, not just one goal. You're going to write down a variety of goals. You're going to write down personal goals. You're going to write down professional goals and you're going to write down physical goals because they're not all the same. And you can't just have one basic goal, but you should have simple ones for different areas. You got to make them simple, though. And I'll be honest with you, I've been writing goals for a very long time and I keep them in front of me. And to be honest with you, it's amazing because normally my goals, when I write them down and I continue to put some action behind I don't know how it works, but they continue to come to fruition for me. So I'm going to suggest you do the same thing. Now, don't get me wrong. You will have to work. I didn't say it's going to be some easy ride. But somehow, even if you don't know how it's going to happen, knowing that you wrote it down, knowing that you took some action and you made it, you did the action that's behind that goal, it will become a reality. It doesn't matter how it does it. But if you don't do it, you don't put some action behind it, and you have some faith that it's going to exist, it's not going to be a reality. So, yeah, some people are going to sit here and roll their eyes and say, yeah, Wallace, whatever, dude. You know, you could say anything you want to. But my answer back to you is, have you tried it? Have you even tried to write down your goals and see if they're going to work? Have you put some action behind your goals or see if they're going to work? I guarantee you they will work, but you have to put some faith and some action behind it. Because every successful person that you know did the exact same thing. They put their goals down, they put it down in writing, and it came to fruition because they took action. So the first thing I'm going to sit here and ask you about your goals is, what is it that you want? Let's say that you want to lose 30 pounds. And I'm going to ask you in your response, it says, well, why do you want to do that? You may come back to me and says, well, I want to look like this TV celebrity I saw on television. My question back to you is that what is it? of that person that is really the main reason that you want that. So I'm going to tell you right now that if it's just because you want to have a great body or you want to be rich, 
that is not going to work for you because that's not going to make you happy. What's going to make you happy that you come up with a key component of why is it you want to lose the weight? It's more important for you to know what is it you want to achieve the goal. Is maybe is it do you not feel happy to being in your own skin? Is it just that you want to lose the weight or is it something else? Because otherwise, if you don't have another basic reason, just you want to say lose weight, the weight's not going to come off because that's just too simple. It's not, it's not really a goal. It's just something you want to do. So you've got to be super, super specific. That's the first thing. It's important you because you got to be clear. Because if it's not clear, it's not, your, your brain's not going to tell you or it's not going to give you the direction to go anywhere. So you want to make sure that goal is in front of you. You want to be able to feel it. You're going to use your five senses. You want to use your eyes. You want to use your nose. You want to use your ears. You want to be able to feel it. You want to taste it. You want to wear it. You want to, you want to be able to smell it. Because if not, then you can't see it happen. And the only way for you to be able to see it happen and for you to truly believe that it's going to work for you, you got to be able to visualize it. you got to be able to see what it feels like. Don't worry how it's going to work out. Don't worry about you know, whether you think it's going to happen or not, trust me, it will. But you got to put some, you got to put some energy towards it first. You put the energy towards it, universal work towards helping you out. But first thing is you got to do is have some faith and you got to have some determination. So did you ever see, and I always think about this, you always think about athletes and you think about Olympians. It always used to amaze me because they sit there and they're talking to themselves. I'm like, why are they mumbling? Why are they talking to themselves? And they're sitting there talking to themselves while they're performing. And if you were an athlete, you may have learned the same thing. It's because you've gone through this event thousands and thousands of times in your head. So you can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it. In fact, you may not even, you may not even been there, but in your inner mind, you were playing the entire game. That's not no hocus pocus stuff. It's been proven over and over again. I always think of the Russians were the first one in, in the Olympics that started really doing it. They visualized the success and that's why they ended up winning. So first of all, you want to put your goals down where you want to see them. That's what I always end up doing. And in the beginning of the brand new year, you write them all down. You put your goals on a wall. You can put them on your phone like I do or them on my wall or on my screensaver. So I can look at them pretty much every day. And that helps me and reminds me to say yes to the things that are going to bring me closer to my goals and also have the ability to say no to the things that will not lead me any further than where I am right now. Because if you waste time, you're not going to be able to succeed. You spend idle time doing, doing useless stuff, you're not going to have time to do the things that are important to you. You just have to keep putting it out there and talking about it. And if you're a good person and you don't try to force your way on other people, you will come into it and your life will be fulfilled. And you know what? The universe is going to help you get there. But again, with some action and some faith, and some perspiration, you'll can achieve anything that you want. Because basically, there's no dream that's too big. Just open your mind, open your heart to the possibilities, and trust me, if you write it down, there'll be a day that you'll be able to make it happen. So go out there and do it. Have a great day, and you be fit.